Admiral Guinea by William Ernest Henley by W. E. Henley and R. L. Stevenson, Avenue Theatre, Monday, November 29, 1897. Spoken by Miss Elizabeth Robbins. Once was an age, an age of blood and gold, an age of shipmen scoundrelly and bold, Blackbeard and Avora, Singleton, Roberts, Kidd, an age which seemed, the while it rolled its quid, brave with adventure, and doubloons and crime, rum and the ebony trade. When, time on time, real pirates, right sea highwaymen, could mock the carrion strung at execution dock, and the trim slaver, with her raking rig, her cloud of sails, her spars superb and trig, held, in a villainous ecstasy of gain, her musky course from Benin to the main, and back again for niggers. When, in fine, some thought that Eden bloomed across the line, and some, like Cowper's Newton, lived to tell that through those parallels ran the road to hell. Once was a pair of friends, who loved to chance their feet in any by way of romance. They, like two vagabond schoolboys, unafraid of stark impossibilities, essayed to make these penitent and impenitent thieves, these pews and gounts, each man of them with his sheaves of humor, passion, cruelty, tyranny, life, fit shadows for the boards. Till in the strife of dream with dream, their slaver saint came true, and their blind pirate, their resurgent pew, a figure of deadly farce in his new birth. Tap tapped his way from Orcus back to earth, and so, their lover and his lass made one, in their best prose this admiral here was done. One of this pair sleeps till the crack of doom where the great ocean rollers plunge and boom. The other waits and wonders what his friend, dead now, and deaf, and silent, were the end revealed to his rare spirit, would find to say if you, his lovers, loved him for this play.